next contest on tonight's card for the two out of three fall with the curfew time limit. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 228 pounds, Larry Sheen, Sheen. His opponent from Moosehead, Maine, weighing 350 pounds, Golden Moose Cholak, Cholak. Two out of three falls with a curfew time limit, your referee, Pedro Ramos. Well, this windup on our card can't possibly be as hectic as that six-man tag match, which we just witnessed. Just about as much action as I've ever seen crowded into the limited confines of a wrestling ring. And I must beg your indulgence if I seem to let down just a little bit. I'm trying to catch my breath and recapture a little bit of the voice, which was lost almost entirely in that exciting match, which was won by the team of Dory Dixon, Seaman Art Thomas, and Bobo Brazil over Buddy Rogers, Johnny Barron, and Magnificent Maurice. This should be a good one, though. Golden Moose Cholak, the Golden Terror from South Chicago, 325 pounds, six feet, four inches, Wearing the headgear, you can tell him he's big. Likes to use that moose squash to finish off an opponent. He's rough. He's mean. Likes to punish his opponent. And Larry Shane bouncing off, as you saw. From Detroit, 230 pounds. He's giving away better than 100 pounds. And he must be at his best of French descent, five feet, 10 inches tall. He attended the University of Michigan, a very scientific wrestler. Very clever, and he'll have to use his cleverness to overcome the sheer power of Golden Moose Cholak. Larry Shane holds the Texas State Heavyweight title. Also won the Pacific Coast Tag Team Championship with Pepper Gomez. He's wrestled from coast to coast. And has tremendous power in his legs as you saw him flip Moose Cholak across the ring, helped by the momentum of Big Moose's charge. This match is two out of three falls with a curfew time limit. We are in the first fall, just underway a few minutes. These great matches are coming to you from the Coliseum in Chicago. This is George Brennard at ringside, sitting in for Bob Elson. And for you fans who are seeing these matches in other cities around the country, make it a must when in Chicago to attend these great live wrestling productions. Larry Shane, partially under the ropes, and referee Pedro Ramos called for the break and he got it. It's always surprising to me to see Moose move as fast as he does in that ring. He slid under Larry Shane and tripped him with that beautiful leg takedown as well as any lightweight. And remember, he's got 325 pounds and he's plopping that 325 pounds down on the thigh of Larry Shane and you can see him limping in the ring, having trouble navigating, but fast enough to steer clear of that intended leg takedown tried by Cholak. Both men under the ropes. 
cautiously back into the ring with Larry Shane gaining the upper hand. Boy, those brutal forearm blows by Moose Cholak smack throughout the entire Coliseum, and you can probably hear it. You know, Larry Shane out of the ring as Pedro Ramos tolls the count. It's up to five. Shane groggy trying to get back in the ring as Big Moose tries to pummel him out with his feet. Ramos backing him away, giving Shane a chance to get back in. You know, wrestling champions series recognizes no world heavyweight champions. There are so many World Heavyweight Wrestling title claimants that wrestling fans are confused as to who is the real champion. At present, Golden Moose Cholak is the only World Championship claimant who is willing to meet any other claimant. Hey, the shoelaces of Big Moose Cholak are tied together, and he's having trouble navigating almost Rolled out of the ring, saved by the bottom strand of the ropes. He's sitting there and manages to undo those shoelaces. Oh, you heard that one smack right into our microphone, I'm sure. Moe's asking for time to tie his boot laces, which had been tied together by Larry Shane. Larry asking the crowd if they'd like to see a drop kick. The crowd says yes, so Larry Shane does. All too often, the clean scientific wrestlers get an advantage and they'll back off, true sportsmen that they are, but many of them learn that you can't give away an advantage to the likes of the Rogers, the Cases, the Cholaks, and the Black Barts. And Larry Shane that time saw an advantage and used it. Golden Moose Cholak still asking for time to tie that shoelace. Let's see what Larry Shane does this time. Oh, he made the mistake of turning his back on Cholak, who steamed across the ring like a baby hippo and tumbled Shane over onto his stomach and face and you saw him sit down hard a half a dozen times. And if that doesn't take the wind out of Shane, I don't know what will. Still in this first fall, a very even fall with each man exchanging the advantage. Right now, it's Golden Moose Cholak who has the upper hand. And look at the ease with which he picks up Jerry, Larry Shane. Slams him down and the moose squash. You saw it and another for good measure. And Larry Shane is on his back. Let's get into the ring for Mike O'Brien and the official decision and time of that fall. Seven minutes and 45 seconds. The winner.